Hi, in this video, I'll be showing how to configure PRTG so that FortiGate is added to PRTG software and SNMP requests are forwarded from PRTG to the FortiGate. The FortiGate accepts the request and responds with SNMP trap messages. The information is collected by PRTG and it is correlated and consolidated and the summary of data that are to be monitored are displayed to the user. In the previous video you have seen how I have configured SNMP on FortiGate device and enabled it as an SNMP agent. I have selected SNMP version 2 to communicate between PRTG and the FortiGate device. As you can see on the FortiGate device under system SNMP I have configured SNMP agent and SNMP version 2 has been enabled for communication. This is the community string. Now go to PRTG, log in to your PRTG device, go to devices and it will show all the devices that has been automatically discovered by PRTG on your network. Windows, Virtual Systems, VMware, Hyper-V, Linux, Mac OS, Unix, everything will get automatically discovered in PRTG if you enable automatic discovery. But I have disabled automatic discovery so FortiGate device won't get automatically discovered for that you can add the FortiGate device manually in PRTG. For that go to devices. If I click all devices you can see all the devices that has been discovered. If you want to add a device go to device, add device. Then click on the location where it has to be discovered. So I will select it as network discovery or I will select it as network infrastructure and click OK. Now I have to give a device name. So I will name it as FortiGate. And the version that is to be used for communication, I will select IPv4 and the IP address of the FortiGate device. This is the IP address I have given while configuring SNMP 192.168.240.5. It will accept queries and send traps. So I have to give that IP address over here and select the device that is being added. Here the FortiGate is available over here just select that. And I will enable standard auto discovery for this particular device and click OK. SNMP version 2 has been configured and here I have to give the community string. The community name is my 40. So I have to write the exact same thing. And the port to be used for SNMP communication here I have configured it as 161 for version 2c so leave it like that and the timeout in seconds and click ok now if you go to 
all devices you can see that the fortigate device which i have just added and the auto discovery is process is on and it is auto discovering it will take some time because it has to query all the oids that are available what all are the events that will be forwarded from fortigate and which we have configured and given permission for so it will analyze all those details then only it will show what all sensors can be added to the fortigate device so it will take some time so i will pause the recording and i will resume once it has completed auto discovery process the auto discovery process has been completed as you can see over here the fortigate device has been listed over here and you, if you click on that device all those details related to the fortigate that is being monitored is displayed over here for adding sensors you can go to devices list all devices in that search for fortigate device here is the fortigate device 192.168.240.5 in that you can see add sensor click on add sensor to add sensor to this particular device you can filter sensor based on these criteria so i'll select ping as well as snmp over here and you can select what to monitor like uptime disk usage cpu usage speed performance bandwidth etc and based on those filters the data will be listed below select any of the sensors you want to add click on that and you can give a name to the sensor click on create the sensor which we have added will get automatically listed with the device and it will take some time for initialization meanwhile i'll show you something else the thing is the all the sensors that has been listed is not compatible with your fortigate device this has been designed for various devices so what you can do is if you want to know what all are the sensors available that is suitable or suited for fortigate device you can see over here recommended sensors click on recommend now and it will analyze what all are the sensors that is compatible with the device that is fortigate and it will list the sensors after querying with fortigate device you can select the sensors which has been recommended by prtg and it will work fine now coming back to ping jitter as you can see that got initialized and now a green tick is displayed over here click on that and the data is getting captured i hope you understood how to add uh, sensors in prtg so that those sensors collect data from fortigate and we get a consolidated report on the performance that's all for today thank you for viewing